Hey guys, this is Marcus for Cardinals.com, and today I'm going to be making the second part of my mini 100 NL series at three tables, where I'm playing the same character Bubba on the top two and this guy B Smitty on the bottom right. This is a pretty typical representation of what a session would look like for me. Um, oftentimes I will be playing the same person on two, maybe three tables, and then I'll have one table or two that are just kind of in and out with uh, different players. Um, so I think it's kind of cool to see what a regular session would look like because most of the time I'm not going to be for uh, tabling the same player. On the top left, I flat a 3-bet with Jack-10. Um, Baba has been 3-betting a decent bit, but other than 3-betting and mostly C-betting, I don't think he's checked after 3-betting, although maybe he has. Um, other than those two characteristics, he's been pretty tame and... I I didn't pick up on it until late. I think I was too focused on the Beast Mini's table, and I was just working under my first initial reaction to Bubba, which was that he was aggressive, and I didn't really adjust it, which is something that tends to happen if I'm not concentrating or if I'm tilting or just off my game in some way. I um, tend to just stick to the initial reads that I make and not really adjust. Um, so on the top left, I... I think I consider raising, and I think it's okay to raise a board like this. Um, I think he's c-betting a ton of air, and that he's going to fold it a lot. But I think in this situation, I just opted to fold, which is all right. I wouldn't float there too often. But if someone, there are certainly characters who just three-bet and c-bet their entire range and then just shut down um, on the vast majority of turns. And against those players, you can get away with floating really liberally. Top right, I just decided to c-bet such a weak pair. Um, I don't really want to check back and let him, um, well, give him a shot at his outs or let him bluff me off the pot. If my hand was slightly stronger, maybe like queen four or something, I'd consider checking back. Um, top left, he's three bet me, or he's four bet me a, a fair amount of times, and I think ace jack's an all right call. It dominates a lot of his um, ace x four betting range. And I'm going to check all the flop, I think. But I'm not really expecting him to bluff here too often, to be honest, because I think he checks back ace x's on this board. Um, and actually, I might end up check folding because I do think he checks back ace x on this board a lot and doesn't bet his complete air automatically. Uh, bottom right, he check raises me, and I'm definitely going to call, and then we'll see. If I was feeling very cool, I might decide to um, three bet the flop, hoping to induce, but I think that's a pretty dicey play. Um, top left, I. I, I considered leading out because it really seems like he has ace king, ace queen, or an ace x hand. Like I don't think he has an overpair pretty much ever. Um, so I think that he folds a lot of the times if I bet the turn in river. But I just thought that it wouldn't look that believable because I'd probably end up checking a lot of overpairs myself. Not to mention I'd probably shove them in preflop. Um, and I don't think there's just much for me to be value betting on this board. So I thought maybe he will calm me down with ace queen or ace king. Um, I don't know. I decided to check it down. My ace jack's good. So I'm in time also. Um, but I, I could be convinced that betting turn and river here is better against this particular player because he really does seem pretty tight. Uh, bottom right, I decided once he checks to me on the turn, on a turn like that, I think I've got the best hand almost always. And I thought that it would look kind of bluffy if I bet. It would. I thought he'd expect me to check back a hand like I have or even like pocket fives, pocket sixes. And... He'd expect me to have some floats and to bet some draws and stuff like that. So I thought he'd check jam on me quite a bit here, actually. So I was betting with the intention of calling up uh, if he shoved. And top left, I'm just going to check fold, I think. Expecting him to have ace-king quite a bit. Bottom right. So he check calls a turn, and then I decide that there's not much value. I think that when he check calls a turn, he ends up having... Something weird, maybe ace x that he was turning into a bluff on the flop and then decides to check all the turn. Um, occasionally, like pocket sixes, pocket eights type hand. But, um, and occasionally something may be kind of stupid, like five six. Um, but I don't think he calls me on the river with anything I beat. Um, I'm kind of surprised he check called the turn with um, anything really. That one makes sense to check call. I think he checks to get. Um, to get me to bet my floats and stuff like that. 